Hello, hello, hello friends. I've been a little bit MIA lately, um, but hi, I'm still here. <laughs> um, I have accumulated some boxes that I have not opened, and before I get too overwhelmed with boxes, I thought, hey, let's do just one bundle of unboxings. So we're gonna do that today because then I filmed a video, because I haven't filmed in ages. Um, you can see my face, sup, um, and I can get rid of some of these boxes that have been just sat on the library floor for ages because I haven't had the energy to unbox them, which would normally be a fun thing. I just haven't, haven't been in the zone for that. But um, we're gonna do it today because it's a sunny day. I'm really hot and sweaty, so sorry about that. Um, I have a little bit of energy in me, so we're gonna open some boxes. Um, I have a couple of fairy loot boxes. The last two, whichever months they are, but I don't know which one's which, so we'll get to them. And then I have an Alcrate Junior box as well. So let's do it one then one then one. So we'll start off with a fairy loot box, but um, which one? Right or left? I'm feeling left. I don't know why. We're gonna go with this one, whichever one this is. This is July. It's now September. Which means that one's gonna be August, probably? I I don't know. Um, but July. Tales retold. Or are they delayed so that could be June? Okay, no, I was right. I just looked at the theme. That one is August, so that's fine. My camera battery is flashing. Glorious. I've just started. Anyway, we'll try and fly through this. Um, Tales retold. July 2021. And the first thing I see on top here is this book sleeve, which I don't know what that is from. It is Spin the Dawn. Oh, I was looking at the cover for those. They were pretty looking and it's um nice and soft on the inside and it's kind of that like fake leather pleather on the outside. Very pretty. Nice. I have so many book sleeves. Um, then we have one of these little tea tins. I have a couple of these. I don't drink loose leaf tea so I don't use them. Um, the one I have on display is the Davabad one, but I don't know what to do with it otherwise. Um, be glad of your human heart, pity those who don't feel anything at all, Sarah J Mass quote. Oh, of course, and then it's got wings. Yeah, nice. So, Akatar. Don't know what I'm going to do with that though. Um, an umbrella. Lovely. What's this inspired by? Heartless, and it's got playing cards and thorns on it. I'm not going to open that because we're indoors, but love a brolly. Love a brolly. Uh, then we have, yes, socks. I love fairy loot socks. They are some of my favourite socks. And these are Cinderella is Dead crew socks. I do prefer it when they do trainer socks, but I like fairy loot socks, so I'm happy with that. And then... We have the book. Ah, there's the tarot cards underneath there. Oh, and a print actually. So we have King of Wands and Queen of Wands. I want to say these are from Caraval, but I haven't read that series, so I could have just made that up. But it's it's the top hat that's giving me those vibes, maybe. And also a print down here of this person whoever that is. And the book, I know what the book is, but let's just appreciate the purple edges and the stenciling. Beautiful stenciling and it is Six Crimson Cranes by Elizabeth Lim. This I've seen lots of people loving and let's appreciate what fairy loot do with naked hardcovers because it's gorgeous. Love it. And as always, artwork under the dust jacket. Gorgeous. This is such a beautiful book. Yeah, I'm very excited to own this and I've just given myself a paper cut. 
this is going so well. Um, and then we have artwork and the letter there. Fairy scoop. Got the theme card there as well and the bookmark. I am um, a big fan of these bookmarks. I'm collecting them all. I'm bleeding. Ugh. Blood. Right, one down. Let's go for the Alcrate Junior. I'm so late to opening this. Do -do -do -do. Ta da! Uh, so, Alcrate Junior is obviously middle grade, whereas Fairy Lou is YA. Um, and the theme for this one is Moonlight and Stardust. And I'm so late to opening this that I've actually seen what's in it already, so none of this is a surprise to me. And uh, this little item is adorable um, and I've kind of always wanted one so that's cute. We've got the little legs to put it together so this makes up the little stand and it's a moon! It's a moon and I think you have to charge it but it's a 3D printed moon that lights up in like three different colours and you put this stand together. I am very amazed that I have just done that so quickly. I thought I was gonna um, struggle to actually get that together. But there's a little stand and you put the little moon on it and it's a little nightlight. Adorable. It is adorable. Um, and a charger there to turn it on and stuff as well. Nice. Uh, worms, worms, so many worms. Then there is a kaleidoscope. Um, you know, one of those things that does that business. Uh, not gonna lie, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this because um, I'm not a child. But I suppose I could probably give it to a child. But it's cute. Um, yeah, I just don't know what to do with it. Next up, we have a little pouchy pouch full of worms. No. And in the pouchy pouch, we have a mirror. Do you see yourself? Do -do. Hello. Um, nice little, oh, that zooms right in. Oh, that side zooms in and that side is normal. That would be very useful for like eyebrow plucking and stuff. I don't have a zoomed in mirror, would you believe it? Um, Moonlight drowns out all but the brightest stars. J.R.R. Tolkien. Nice. Oh, there's a pin. There's a pin. Stay wild, moon child. I like that. That's cute with the moon phases on it. Can't complain. Adorbs. Um, and then... Is this the la Oh no, there's some origami paper. I like making origami stars, which is um, appropriate for moon and stars box. Um, yeah, origami paper. Fun activity, I guess. Don't really get how that fits the theme, but it is what it is. Uh, and then the book, The Plentiful Darkness by Heather Kastner. Never heard of it, but cute. I like the cover. It's got a little rat on it. Looks like something I might enjoy. Cool. Um, and it has a little stardust stickery thing on the back there. Um, but yeah, that's a diddly one as well. Cute. Nice. Um, and then the next theme is creature communities. Fun. Fun, fun. Next. And then the other fairy loot box which is the August theme of uh, Love Struck. Yay, romance. <laughs> first thing first, uh, Caraval. I've already said in this video that I haven't read those books, um, but cute stamp pin thing. I just wish it didn't say Caraval. If it was like just the circus tent, I could pretend it was the night circus, um, but it says Caraval on it. So, you know, you win some, you lose some. Um, and then we have a tin. This isn't a tin. A tray! <laughs> um, like a cake tray thing. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, yeah, like a tray thing. The other one from Fairy Loot I have sat on the windowsill with like plant pots on it, so this will probably go there as well, because otherwise I don't really know what to do with this. Um, but this is Aidan Thomas inspired, uh, probably Cemetery Boys then, judging from the colour scheme. Um, it wasn't the end, it was a better beginning. 
cute. I mean, I like it as an item. It's nice. Yes, lovely. Um, and then we have a book. We have a book, um, but it looks like a romance, which, yeah. Um, yeah. After Love by Tanya Byrne? Is it Byrne, maybe? Car headlights, breaking glass. Uh, has she made it? Or is she still here? Uh, gets an invitation from the afterlife to join a clan of fierce girl reapers who take the souls of the city's dead to await their fate. Okay. Afterlife girl gang of reapers. Um, can't forget her first love. She'll do anything to see her again, even if it means they only get a few more days together, dead or alive. Ah, oh, does she have to, like, collect the soul of her dead girlfriend or something? Not even death will tear them apart. I'm torn on this because I don't like it when romance is the main point of a plot. But, like, afterlife, dead girl gang of reapers sounds kind of fun. Um, but yeah, this is an extra book, so great. Um, and pink sprayed edges, very pretty, I like the illustration. Um, I'm torn on whether I think I would like this or not though, but I have it, so there's that. Um, then we have a pin banner, yeah. Love a pin banner, um, and this is Violent Delights inspired. Honestly, that could be anything inspired though. I like the design of it um, and my pin banner is pretty full so I appreciate having another one. Amazing, just need to find somewhere to hang it. <laughs> um, I like that, very nice. And then we have, ooh, a pouch. Amanda Joy, I don't know who, what, what, what that is, who that is. I don't know what they've written. Um, what? Arorb? The world is wild with untamed things. It's pretty, I like it, I have no idea what it's from. Where's the theme card? Uh, pencil case. A river of royal blood. I've read that as well. The name Amanda Joy just did not spark a river of royal blood. I liked that book a lot. Um, which means I like this even more, and I did just say it was pretty, now I know where it's from and who that is. Amazing! Um, a case. I would probably use it for, like, makeup or something rather than pencils, but nice! Um, and then we have... let's get the tarot cards. Ta-da! Um, Ace of Pentacles and Two of Pentacles. Are these the same series as these? Or are they different? I, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, no, I think they are the same. I think they're still Caraval because for some reason this girl here makes me think of Caraval purely because of that grey streak in her hair, but I don't know. Is it? Way, yes, Caraval. And were the other ones Caraval? Well, hey, look at me, pretending I know. Amazing. And then, doo -doo -doo -doo, in here we have orange. I love that. Um, and we have doo -doo, These Hollow Vows by Lexi Ryan. A heart is a dangerous thing to steal. Oh, look at the stenciled edges again. I just, they're beautiful. They're beautiful. And is there a pretty undercover? Oh, yeah, there is. That's gorgeous. I'm a fan. Um, and are they elves or fairies or something? Under the dust jacket artwork. Oh, fairy loot just have such gorgeous editions of books. Um, yeah, and of course, signed as fairy loot books always are, but I don't know anything about this book. Whereas um, the other one, the Six Crimson Cranes, I'd heard good things about, I have not heard of this one. But maybe it's because this is a more recent box and that one was an older box I just hadn't opened yet, so maybe I will hear more about this. Go to the Seely Court, find the Queen's secret portal to enter the most dangerous place in Fairy and find my sister, rescue her from a power-hungry king. Child's play. Hmm. Nice. Awesome. Um, and then in here we have artwork and the letter, fairy scoop and the cute little bookmark.
Right, I am now surrounded in paper worms, boxes, and bookish stuff that I need to find homes for. So I'm gonna do that now um, and try and clear up the library floor a little bit because this is where the boxes were living and I need to find homes for stuff and yay. That was this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I kind of tried to go through those quickly um, just to have a video and open the boxes and say hi, how you doing? I hope you're all doing good. I'm doing my best to be doing good um, and yeah, you'll see me properly at some point again soon, I'm sure. But thank you for watching and hanging out with me for a little bit whilst I open these bookish treasure chests. Um, but yeah, I'll see you in whatever comes next. <laughs> Bye.